Welcome back to my garage. Today we're going to replace the belt drive with the chain drive on the rotary drum valves. They're not tested yet, but uh, I have a strong suspicion the belt will just melt as these valves are combined exhaust tubes and valves. Let's get right to it. I removed the old belt drive pulley from the crankshaft assembly. First operation is to make something so that this will fit on here so that I can mount this. If I can't find anything suitable I'll have to sacrifice this pulley. This will become the new extended nut. I need it to be longer than the previous one because the like the pulley is thicker. There's no way for me to hold this without using some packing and stuff and uh, this end doesn't really need to be that square. I'll just square it up in the sander and then drill and tap it from this side. I need to make clearance in this uh, engine cradle dyno mount things to get the new pulley on there. So that's the next operation. I've changed my mind, let's not do the clearance in these first. Let's do all the other stuff. With this out of the way, the engine is much more accessible. And we can see the whole engine for the first time in a long while. If I can find a half link, I'm not sure I'll need a tensioner at all. I can tension the chain with gaskets or spacers under the blocks here. I need a half link. Let's hope I can find that in town. Didn't get much done here yesterday. I went to buy a new used car. Which is the worst, in my opinion. I just hate buying cars. I'm so bad at getting a good price, I always feel sorry for the seller. We got to somewhat of an agreement after a surprisingly long time though. Anyways, I did get this done. Grooves for uh, this uh, spring clips. The bore on my lathe truck is too small, I can't fit this through. Luckily I could borrow a lathe from a friend and uh, get it done. This is what keeps the tubes from pushing or pulling out of the, the bearing housings. Left room for spacers at either end. These rings are too wide and might interfere with the seals or even the outer rays of the bearings. Let's cut the exhaust ports. Also picked up a half link, so now the chain will fit.
I haven't got a parting tool. Well, actually, I made a short one from HSS, but I left it at my friend yesterday. I can't be bothered grinding a new one for just these two washers. I think squaring the edge of this tool to the end of the stock here and use that as a makeshift parting tool should work. Maybe. There won't be enough clearance. I'll see if I can switch the tool around and come up with something. Worst case scenario, I'll just use the hacksaw or an angle grinder. Before making washers, I'll have to deburr the exhaust tubes, fit them up and uh, see how thick those washers ended up needing to be. I yielded and decided to make a parting tool. That's all we have time for in this episode. Next episode we'll time the drum valves, make a chain tensioner and the intake system. Then we'll start it. See you next time.